Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things that you may have missed when playing your favourite games, with the only rule being they cannot have been featured on my channel before. In today's video we probe Uranus in Mass Effect 2, we upset a programmer in Receiver 2 and we investigate a bear attack in Red Dead Redemption 2. As always if you think you know of a detail that I'm yet to cover then the best places to let me know are in the comments section or on my social media accounts. The links as always are in the description. Oh and if you do want to enjoy this video then leaving a like, subscribing or turning notifications on is really appreciated. Anyway without further delay let's get started. So first up is Receiver 2. Now Receiver 2 is unlike any game I've ever played. I mean let me show you what it's like to reload a gun in this game. There's no simple reload button here. Receiver 2 is a first person shooter developed by Wolfire Games. As demonstrated by that complicated reload, Receiver 2 aims to portray realistic gun mechanics in a procedurally generated world. It's an interesting concept and one that won't be for everyone, but if the thought of ultra realistic video game firearms tickles your fancy, then you may want to check this one out. Now in a recent update, the compound was added to the game. This is basically a training area for you to brush up on your skills. If you're looking to relax, you can also choose the music in the compound, even selecting some of your own tracks. To do this, you need to head into the game's files and replace the replace me file with your music. But what happens if you delete the replace me file and don't add your own music? It's actually a really nice touch that the developers thought to add a message if you just deleted the file. Up next is the excellent Mass Effect 2. Whilst the game may be a little rough around the edges now, I mean it has been nearly 11 years since it released, the upcoming Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which will feature remasters of the original three Mass Effect games, is due for release this year. So for those who haven't experienced the series yet, you can hop in with some slightly fancier visuals and quality of life improvements. The first detail of interest from Mass Effect 2 is one for those who, like me, love some childish humour. As you explore the galaxy, you can probe planets for resources. Well, one of those planets that you can probe is Uranus. I'm sure you know where this is going. If you probe Uranus, this will happen. Really, Commander? Probing Uranus. Up next is one of the most realistic details in any video game ever. The phrase beer goggles is used when somebody has drunk a little too much and a lady who may not have been attractive earlier in the night suddenly looks much more appealing. Well on the planet Ilium you can go to the bar and speak to the bar lady. Now as far as aliens go she's not bad. Well if you order the mystery drink and then try to speak to her again she will look like this. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. So whether she actually looks prettier or not is entirely subjective, but after drinking the mystery drink, the bar lady now seems to be wearing makeup. It's a pretty cool detail. Next up is a game that I will recommend until my last breath. Prey is one of the most inventive and interesting games I've played in years. I mean the opening alone is enough to leave your jaw on the floor. Now for those of you who have had the pleasure of actually playing Prey, you'll know the game is full of cool little details, and the detail I have for you today is no different. If you head to your brother's office, you can do this. That statue was worth a lot of money, Morgan. I'm going to be charitable and assume you scuffled with a typhon and didn't just break it out of spite. So destroying this statue in Alex's office will cause him to call Morgan. 
It's a really cool detail and one that I hope you weren't aware of. So despite being an absolute disaster at launch, Fallout 76 has seen somewhat of a revival as of late. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. I'd rather a standard Fallout game in the same mold as New Vegas, for example, but I'm happy it seems to have managed to turn things around. The detail from Fallout 76 is actually pretty interesting. On the second floor of the White Springs Resort, you can find a restaurant. What's really cool is if you head to the robotic concierge, he will tell you to take a seat and someone will be with you shortly. Well, if you do take a seat, this will happen. Good afternoon. Lunch is now being served. Please have a seat. So a robotic waiter will approach and show you the menu. I don't know why I love this detail so much, but I do. So to end today's video, let's once again revisit Red Dead Redemption 2. Now in the last episode of this series, we discovered that this blind man in Saint Denis wasn't blind at all. And if you pointed your gun at him, he would soon tell the truth. Well, what actually happens if you give the man your money and be on your way? Well, eventually this will happen. Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir, there should be more people in the world like you. God bless. <laughs> hey there. Thought you were blind. What? Oh, uh, uh, no, you must be thinking of another blind fella. You piece of Give shit! Me. They gonna let you get away with this? I'm just trying to get by here. Oh, come on, it's just a few coins. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Please! Uh, I'm... So the apparently blind man will leave and take your money. Another dead giveaway that the blind man isn't blind can be seen if you try and steal the man's money. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Great time already. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? Can you spare anything for a blind man? <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Reckon it's time I tried a different spot. I'm tired of this. I'm surprised no one shot you for pulling this stunt. You already took my money, alright? Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, it's just a few coins. You'll have to practice if you want to get away with that part of the trick. Just leave me alone. Let's not make a big deal out of this. So he will stop you from stealing the first time, then reluctantly let you get away with it if you try again. It's brilliant. So one of the most popular encounters in Red Dead Redemption 2 is this. <laughs> So I'm sure that, like me, this took you by surprise when you first came across it. But there was a warning that there was a killer bear roaming in this area. Close to the cabin at this location, you can find this. Ah. 
So a bloody tent with claw marks indicates that the bear had also been at this campsite. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still would have jumped out of my skin at the bear attack in the cabin, but at least I could have put two and two together. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any Easter egg secrets or details that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of Easter eggs, secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.